what is a commonly held misconception of your tradition, and what would you like us to know? Well, I don't think anyone has any misconceptions. About <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, media does a great job of representing us. <laughs> Where do I start? Do I just list them, like sort of bullet points? Um, there is less than, you know, we make up less than 1% of the population here in the United States, and we have not secretly launched a takeover of the country. Um, we're not trying to replace the Constitution with Sharia law. We don't want to kill everybody. We're just as curious as to where ISIS came from as everybody else is. Um, we don't oppress women in our tradition, or our tradition is not one that... I'll, I'll, I'll use that one. Okay. Uh, that, that's, that's the one. That's That's... That's the one I'll focus on just for a moment. And I think it plays into a larger narrative that Islam is a cause of destruction and regression. And I'd like people to just take a moment to consider that we are a 1,400-year-old religion and that within Islam you had the birth of hospitals and medicine. The first university in the world was founded by a Muslim woman. Our country here in the United States has yet to elect a woman president, the largest Muslim country in the world. Does anyone know where the largest Muslim country in the world is? Indonesia has already had two female uh, prime ministers. So um, associating Islam with regression, particularly the oppression of women and holding women back where some of the greatest female scholarship has been produced from the Muslim world over the last 1400 years. Um, I think is very uh, dishonest and disingenuous. So I think Islam being associated with regression, and particularly within that regression, the oppression of women. <clears throat>